My reaction to the whole notion of artificial intelligence is that it favors some kinds of virtues over others. How to be loud, how to be quick, how to be dominating. But the other virtues, the virtues of nurturing, of taking time, of seeing what matters to people, those are virtues I think we need to restore to our discussions of intelligence as we make it artificial. AI works with data that come from cultures. So AI systems learn to, to interpret the world based on data sets. If you introduce a AI system in healthcare that should advise a nurse about how to uh, help an elderly person, I could very well imagine that the advice is different in Japan than it would be in the Netherlands. The ways in which we deal with elderly people, with aging, differs per country, per context. And I think in Western countries, the emphasis is very often on autonomy and helping people to live autonomously. I think in many other cultures, uh, the emphasis is much more on care and dealing with vulnerability, dealing with dependency. AI to no skiai kata to you no ga, bunka ni yotte shigai ga aru to you no wa, kore wa tozen no koto da to omoimasu. それぞれの文化の中で培われてきているさまざまな知恵と人工知能の技術というものを結びつけていくということはとても重要だと思っています。例えば、聖なる土地というのはどの社会にもあります。教会を建てたり、寺院を建てたり、皆が集まることができるような場所を作ることによって、私たちは次の世代へと何かを伝えていきますハイテクの都市を作ろうとした時にも AI が人々が大切にしてきた文化を醸成していくような方向に役立つそういう技術として私たちは活用していく必要があると思っています。In order to uh, design AI from an intercultural perspective, we also need a space where that can happen, where people can have this intercultural dialogue about ethics and to agree somehow on how to deal with artificial intelligence from the perspective of diversity and not from a unifying perspective. When you're trying to take human capability and turn it artificial, it matters which human capabilities you take as valuable in the first instance. So one of the problems is that once we've designed intelligence to be a certain thing, then we feel that the rest of the world should be designed to match that intelligence. That is the moment, I think, where diversity becomes a problem because we're all suddenly compelled to buy into this standardized product. The Constitution of UNESCO declares that since words begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that the defenses of peace must be constructed. It is the same with artificial intelligence technologies. If AI is amplifying biases and discriminations, it is a mere reflection of our minds. It is up to us, as humanity, to think carefully about what kind of future we want to build with these technologies. And there, ethics has a very important role to play. Ethical analysis in relation to AI is extremely important because it enables us to uh, anticipate how AI will affect our society, but most of all, to address the values that are at stake when AI is entering society and to feed that back into the design. Where AI does its work, people experience the impact. It's crucial to empower people to do ethics themselves, not to leave it only to the experts, because this is the only way, I think, to take an intercultural dialogue seriously and to give it a place in the design of AI systems. If we become more self-aware of what it is that we're doing, then it opens up a set of choices. And ultimately, this is why being attuned to the possibility of cultural diversity is really important in the policy world and the ways in which we approach the governance of new technologies, there is a virtue in ensuring that culturally discrepant attitudes are represented in the attitudes that we take toward uh, charting a pathway into the future, toward defining the trajectories of progress. Toyo, 
特に日本においてはダイナミックハーモニーという考え方がありますここでは人と物というものが単に従属関係にあるのではなくて物を通して私はこの人生の意味ある物語を作っているこのような物との付き合い方ということはこれは多分人工知能との付き合い方というところに大きく関係してくるだろうと思います。In any cultural context, AI systems have different effects and need to, to fit in different value systems. Only if we take that very seriously, we can really have an AI ethics that leaves no one behind.